The first part of September, the rut is just warming up. We found ourselves in the best scenario, a lone bull bugling and raking. So we got the wind right and snuck in. We could tell from the video it was a high shoulder shot with poor penetration. Knowing this, we decided that that was the bull we were going to hunt the remainder of the time. Even though a second chance at that bull was more than unlikely. This bull now coming in would soon put us to the test.
So Bucket and Tyson stayed back and we got set up. Me and my dad and they started bugling and using the hyper hot. Bulls just running just right towards us. was crazy. I've hunted elk for 40 years. I've never had anything like that happen before. That elk came when my broadhead was hit the broadhead. I thought about just pushing it in. <laughs> never had that. I thought he might attack me. My heart's pumping. That was crazy. I thought I had to pull it back. And he still hit it. And I thought, I could put it in my back. <laughs> I'll just stab him. He might turn and come after me. And so I was like, I was like, did you? You'll see me jump in the video if you got it. I, I like, think. Oh, like this. <laughs> and he didn't seem to do anything. He just hit, he just brushed across that, and he just totally focused on something else. The collar on it is now broken. Look at that. The collar is broken. <laughs> the bull walked by, <laughs> brushed the broad head. Probably thought, here, look, let me help you out. Right. Let me help you out a little bit. Did you hear the crashing? Did you hear the crashing through the trees? Yeah. Okay. They're hitting. They're hitting branches. That they don't even care when they're in this kind of a frenzy. Frenzy. They're like freaking out. Why you hit one? <laughs> I heard, Tyson, you didn't. You didn't I didn't. Know. <laughs> That's a good memory. Yeah, I wish I would. Black card dog? Yeah. Bucket, what do you got over there? We're He's making one. a salad. He's Asian fixing a salad. Cashew chop salad. <laughs> I chopped it myself. You did? I fixed the sauce myself. I threw the cashews and everything. Do one salad. Well, I'll take some salad. That sounds good. I'll try it. Is that fun, guys? We couldn't believe it. We finally located the bull we had hit earlier in the hunt. But getting within range would be a whole nother task. We'll see if we can get in front of them.
So we've been hunting that bow for the last two and a half weeks, I guess. We've seen him like three times, and we just got lucky, because he just happened to be the one that was coming over the top. When he came up, I saw that unique thing that I saw when I shot the first time. So we're gonna just go see if we got this elk. Hopefully we did, if not, I'm done. I'm, we're going home. We're going home today regardless. It's storm coming in. Storm's coming in, snow's coming in, which is great for elk, but I've been chasing that bull that I hit two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago, whenever it was. And I'm beat up, I'm tired, and this is, was just luck. This was like, phew. So if we get him, it's fantastic. It's but that is the bull I've been hunting for two and a half weeks. Unbelievable. I could come back and get the same bull. That's great. Unbelievable. Dude, that's a stud. Look at the freaking girth on that. <laughs> That is just like. That's crazy. That's Look at that. Crazy. Yeah. That's, that's unreal, crazy. and it's coming out of his forehead. Yeah. Yeah, that is. That's so this is that is from two to three weeks ago. I'm not sure how the meat looks, but I'm glad. He was rutting. I'm, I mean, he was rutting and going full bore, him. but I'm glad we were able to take him. Yes. That's why I wanted to hunt this bull, this bull only, and he's heavier. That's the first thing that I looked at the first time when I shot him in the shoulder two weeks ago. This is looked heavy. And I saw this and I saw the heaviness and I said, that's the shooter bulls. But this is, he's, he's a little off center. <laughs> there. Look at that. You're right, look at that front. Look at that mass on that. And Trent was saying, I'm not gonna shoot until I find him. It was crazy.